shit is so loud sometimes. Like the battery. Should freak. Actually freaked me out the first time I started the bike. <clears throat> I was like, what the heck? Why does it make that kind of noise, you know? Had to check, make sure I had my wallet. I've actually been taking my wallet out with me pretty frequently. I didn't used to. I've been trying to steer away from it to kind of like just get more digital digitalized. That's I think that's a word. Like I've been using my phone and everything, and um, for like paying, you know, Apple Pay and everything. But it's I found myself in a few predicaments where I needed my wallet. Obviously, I'd need it for like my driver's license and stuff. But um, I've never been too worried about getting like pulled over and you know they're thinking that I don't have a license or whatever, even if I can't show one to them. You know, I know enough about myself, like, you know, I know all my identification numbers and everything that I need to know that I can, you know, well, I guess I don't know my DL number, but, you know, nobody knows that. So, um, I wanted to talk about riding a bicycle, being able to ride a bicycle, and kind of the relationship between being able to ride a bicycle and riding a motorcycle. So, I'll come right out and say that in the slightest, I do think that riding a bicycle, personally for me, has been somewhat beneficial in learning to ride a motorcycle. Um, so I started riding a bicycle when I was really young. Like I did the tr whole like uh, training wheels thing. You know, I had the two wheels on the back and everything. Uh, yeah, up until I could ride on just the regular two. Um, and I actually rode bicycles a lot when I was younger. Like I used that basically as my means of transport because I lived like pretty close to pretty much everything I needed to get to. So I used I used that as like a I had a little BMX bike I would ride pretty much everywhere. Uh, obviously, unless you know, except for longer distance things. But anyways, I have a lot of time on a bicycle, and I feel like that some in some way it did help me when I was starting to ride a motorcycle because I already felt comfortable on two wheels. You know, you have that. Um, I'm gonna get a yellow. Yeah. When you ride a bicycle for long enough, you start to get this kind of, um, you get a feel for being on just two wheels, having to, you know, have that, having a sense of balance, um, you know, sense of uh, power, you know, like you have to, you know, you have to keep pedaling on your bicycle to a degree to, to stay standing, uh, keep your balance. And you know, the, the, the physics of that are the same with a motorcycle, right? It's just, to a higher degree, right? So, that begs the question, can you say that you have experience riding if you've rode like bikes for a long time, bicycles for a long time? In my personal opinion, I'm gonna say no, okay? Not once did I ever when I was looking at a bike, or sorry, at a motorcycle, did I say to anyone, "Yeah, I have, I have experience riding. I've rode bicycles. You know, I've rode my my BMX for you know like decade plus. You know, you're gonna get laughed at if you say something like that. And the reason being is that I think you know, is the guy gonna get pulled over? No." going fast officer <laughs> anyways the reason being is like a bicycle and a motorcycle are not the same thing by any means they're very close together they have they have similarities but they have very big differences as well okay so the main one being you know an engine 
you have a lot more power you're not just pedaling to give power to the rear wheel you're opening a throttle I don't really need to explain all the differences but there are differences and it doesn't give you riding a bicycle doesn't give you the privilege of saying that you have experience all I'm saying is that it will help yes I think it will help but there's so 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 much more that goes into riding a motorcycle rather than just the things that you learn on um, on bicycles so like you know you have your you have throttle brake clutch you use all four of your limbs on a motorcycle much different than just on a bicycle right now you have brakes on your bicycle you know you use those and everything I understand that but it's still very very different okay and then you have to factor in all of you know the different amounts of forces that are being applied on a bike you know and you have to worry about lean angle uh, turns and stuff you know you don't really ever have to worry about giving too much power to your rear wheel on a bicycle you know you can if you pedal really fast in a high gear you know you can get that thing spinning a little bit but the main point is yes it will help in my opinion to have some sort of background on a bicycle but it's not in by any means by any stretch of the imagination it is not experience you know it's not motorcycle experience that you have you're on a bicycle they're they're very different but similar at the same time so anyways let me know what you guys think down below um, like I said they're similar but they're not the same and bicycle experience does not account for motorcycling um, that's just my opinion though and I want to hear what everybody else has to say about the matter so if you could just you know leave a comment let me know what you think if you're a fellow motorcycle rider who has previously uh, you know rode uh, bicycles a lot in the past let me know let me know what you think so yeah appreciate you guys watching and uh, take it easy have a great day